Welcome to Healthy Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with K-O-K-O-S-H-U-N-G-S-A-N. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. Fame and Fortune Affirmations The Big Book of Affirmations from Famous Celebrities Affirmations and positive thinking work by drawing in energy and focusing it with the subconscious to bring about change. I strongly think this and we have limitless power to alter the world around us, to produce the life we wish, to draw toward us positive and advantageous events, experiences and individuals. Similarly, we may also draw toward us damaging destructive events, experiences and individuals. This is the basis of the law of attraction. Get all the info you need. Here. Chapter 1. About fame and fortune affirmations. A lot of us use a negative affirmation like, I'm fat and unattractive. I don't deserve to be happy. I can't become famous. I'm a failure. I'm plagued by misfortune. I'll never be happy. These damaging thoughts start to infiltrate our subconscious minds and get to be a reality. A lot of the difficulties in our lives come from our damaging beliefs about other people and ourselves. Today is the time to shift all that as you start utilizing positive thinking and making positive affirmations. Affirmations may be a major tool in absorbing towards you favorable changes in your life, whether it be in the form of personal shifts or bringing new individuals, things in situations into your life story. Affirmations are really potent tools, so powerful as a matter of fact that they could seem to be magic. As a matter of fact, they are a sort of magic. When you do affirmations, you're in effect sending out to the universe an announcement or command. And although it might seem that only you're hearing the words, this isn't so. These words go out to the universe. This is the law of attraction. The basics. Affirmations work on a lot of different levels. An affirmation may impact your own and other individuals' witting and unconscious levels. If you affirm and it involves other people, you're in a way communicating with another individual's higher self. This is when things truly begin to happen and results occur promptly. The power of positive thinking and affirmations is only bounded by your personal strong beliefs in belief that the affirmations are working. If the affirmations are simply executed half-heartedly, those are the results that will be found. However, if you trust completely in accomplishing the aspiration stated in the affirmation, then it's almost sure to be accomplished. Start then by Utilizing the powerful positive affirmations and quotes I've outlined in this book, practice. Believing what you're saying for a couple of minutes, many times a day. After a while, these affirmations will get to be the way your body, brain and spirit respond to the roadblocks and challenges of daily life. If accomplished regularly and with sincerity, you'll soon be surprised by the shifts you see beginning to happen in your life. Once you intensely trust you are able to make positive shifts in your life and achieve your desires you have to focus that intention. Visualize the result, gather your strength, and send that vision out to become real. If you choose to take advantage of affirmations in your life, be geared up for change. Remember what they say, be cautious what you ask for, as with affirmations it may manifest rapidly. Affirmations are among the most potent ways of bringing more wealth and fame into your life. We all know the importance of positive thinking on both our wellness and other areas of our lives and affirmations help to keep favorable messages at the front of our brains, harnessing the energy of positive thinking to bring you great fame and wealth. Great wealth and fame affirmations may entirely adjust your attitude. Toward wealth and making cash and fame, they may help you acquire powerful new inner beliefs for success. 
Free yourself from blocks to riches. Substitute limiting ideas and damaging beliefs with favorable ones. Draw out your creativeness and potential. Attract more cash into your life. Story. While there are still a lot of skeptics out there, there are likewise a lot of celebrities who have been vocal about their opinion that positive thinking and affirmations help them in their journey to success and wealth. Here are a few celebrities who have utilized positive affirmations to get rich and famous. What better individual to begin with than financial guru Suze Orman? Orman has made no secret about the fact that she began with no cash, felt unworthy to work on Wall Street, however then shifted her thinking. Orman's most famous affirmation is, and quat, I have more cash than I'll ever need and quat. She has told viewers to repeat this mantra, or one of their own, again and again till they believe it to be true. Orman has likewise written in her books that individuals have to respect cash in order to draw in cash. In one of her books, Orman advises readers to clean out their wallets and to make certain that all bills are placed inside neatly and orderly. Comedian Jim Carrey has long recited the story of his rise to fame. Among the most intriguing stories Carey has shared is the fact that long before he was wealthy and famous, he wrote a check to himself, in the sum of $10 million for Enquat, acting services. Rendered Enquat, he postdated it for 1995 and carried it in his billfold. Carey likewise visualized himself cashing in the check and what he would purchase with it. By the time 1995 came, Around, Jim Carrey was indeed rich enough to cash the check. Actor Will Smith is among the highest paid actors in Hollywood, with a favorable attitude that has been his trademark for a long time. In interviews over the years he's spoken of his need to unite with the universe and that he trusts that individuals control their own destiny. In an interview, Smith stated, and quote, the idea is that you have command over what your future, what your situation is. That you internally and with your spirit or however you want to put it, the Tao or Muslim Allah or Jesus, whatever that universal forces that you connect to, you, in sync with that force, have command to will your future and quat. Oprah Winfrey introduced her viewers to the secret back in 2007 and though she's been a supporter of the book's message, she's cautious to state that the law of attraction is simply one law that individuals ought to use to visualize their dreams. In one interview, Winfrey said, and quote, you really can change your own reality based on the way that you think, and quote, chapter 2, fame and wealth quotes. Fame and fortune quotes can inspire you. Let's have a look at a few Quotes. Fame is like a river, that beareth up things light and swollen, and drowns things. Weighty and solid. Francis Bacon, Essays. I thought famous people were proud, unapproachable, that they despised the crowd, and by their fame and the glory of their name, as it were, revenged themselves on the vulgar herd for putting rank and wealth above everything. But here they cry and fish, play cards, laugh and get cross like everyone else. Anton Chekhov, the seagull. Fame always brings loneliness. Success is as ice cold and lonely as the North Pole. Vicky Baum, Grand Hotel. Well, there was a time I would have hung around just to be seen. Hey man, it's a shame. When you start to fade, diamond rings and sparkly things won't make your shine stay Cheryl. Crow, and quat, superstar and quat, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol's exposures. The fame of heroes owes little to the extent of their conquests, and all to the success of the tributes paid to them. Jean Genet, prisoner of love. Stardom isn't a profession, it's an accident. Lauren Bacall, quoted in the Wordsworth Dictionary of Quotations. Fame, we may understand, is no sure test of merit, but
but only a probability of such. It is an accident, not a property of a man. Thomas Carlyle, Goethe. Fame is a food that dead men eat. Henry Austin Dobson. Fame is a food that dead men eat. The desire for fame tempts even noble minds. Street. Augustine, the city of God. Fame is no plant that grows on mortal soil. John Milton. Lycidas. Fame can never make us lie down contentedly on a deathbed. Alexander Pope, Letter 2. William Trumbull, March 12, 1713. Fame is a bee. It has a song. It has a sting. Ah, too, it has a wing. Emily Dickinson, Fame is a bee. Fame must have enemies, as light must have gnats. Victor. Hugo, Villamain. Fame or infamy, either one is preferable to being forgotten. Christopher. Paolini, Brisinger. No matter how much fame you have, it's not something that belongs to you. If I'm famous, that doesn't belong to me, that belongs to you. If you can't remember who I am, I'm no longer famous. Michael J. Fox, Esquire, Deck. 2007. Fame and fortune are as hard to find as a lightning strike. P. N. Ilrod, The Dark Sleep. What is the end of fame? Tis but to fill a certain portion of uncertain paper. Some liken it to climbing up a hill, whose summit, like all hills, is lost in vapor. For this men write, speak, preach, and heroes kill, and bards burn what they call their inquat, midnight taper, to have, when the original is dust, a name, a wretched picture, and worse bust. Lord Byron, Don Juan. The talent of success is nothing more than doing what you can do well, and doing well whatever you do, without a thought of fame. Henry Wadsworth. Longfellow, Hyperion. There are decades in the making of the one man of renown, multitudes that go unnoticed who must wreathe for him a crown. Edwin Leibfreed, and Quat. Calistus and Quat. Fame is nothing but an empty name. Charles Churchill, the ghost. Man toils, and strives, and wastes his little life to claim, at last the transient glory of a splendid name, and have, perchance, in marble mockery a bust, poised on a pedestal, above his sleeping dust. Andrew Downing. And quat, fame and quat, name and fame, to fly sublime, through the courts, the camps, the schools, is to be the ball of time, bandied in the hands of fools. Alfred Tennyson, The Vision of Sin. That sort of reputation which precedes performance, is often the larger part of a man's fame. George Eliot, Middlemarch. It is permissible even for a dying hero to think before he dies how men will speak of him hereafter. His fame lasts perhaps two thousand years. And what are two thousand? years? What, indeed, if you look from a mountain top down the long wastes of the ages? The very stone one kicks with one's boot will outlast Shakespeare, Virginia Woolf, to the lighthouse. Fame should be depicted covered with tongues instead of with feathers and in the form of a bird. Leonardo da Vinci, Thoughts on Art and Life. Fame is an undertaker that pays but little attention to the living, but bedizens the dead, furnishes out their funerals, and follows them to the grave. Charles Caleb Colton, Lacken. Fame. A bubble on life's wave, tis tossed about, a worthless thing. The bubble breaks, tis lost for eye, but leaves on heart a poignant sting. You. Cut your name on granite block. As ages come and pass away, disintegrated is the stone, for all in. Nature must decay. Ardelia Cotton Barton, Thoughts. Famous people don't want to be told that you have a quality in common with them. It makes them think there's something crawling in their clothes. Don DeLillo, Underworld. Certain shades of limelight wreck a girl's complexion. Truman. Capote, Breakfast at Tiffany's. All who have their reward on earth, the fruits, of painful superstition and blind zeal, not 
seeking but the praise of men, here find, fit retribution. Empty as their deeds. The light of the dawn is not so sweet as the first glimpses of fame. Luke de Clapiers, Marquis de Vauvenargues, Reflections and Maxims. We only serve as a model for the portrait of our fame. Jean Cocteau, Opium. Fame grows like a tree if it have the principle of growth in it. The accumulated dews of ages freshen its leaves. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Table Talk. Fame lightens labor. Edward Council, Maxims. Fame is a form, perhaps the worst form, of incomprehension. Jorge Luis Borges, Visiones. Posthumous fame is a plant of tardy growth, for our body must be the seed of it, or we may liken it to a torch, which nothing but the last spark of life can light up, or we may compare it to the trumpet of the archangel, for it is blown over the dead, but unlike that awful blast, it is of earth not of heaven, and can neither rouse nor raise us. Charles Caleb Colton, Lacan. Fame is the inheritance not of the dead, but of the living. It is we who look back with lofty pride to the great names of antiquity, who drink of that flood of glory as of a river, and refresh our wings in it for future flight. William Hazlitt. Characteristics. What is fortune, what is fame? Feudal gold and phantom name riches buried in a cave, glory written on a grave. Henry Van Dyke, and Quat, the talisman and Quat. Fame and secrecy are the high and low ends of the same fascination. Don DeLillo, Underworld. I have way too many commitments. I get pulled in too many directions and I never seem to be able to satisfy anybody. People get turned on by knowing a celebrity, even my friends and family. They feel that there's something exciting about me, but in reality there's no substance to it. People in airports just hold on to me expecting something and it seems that I always come up empty. It's frustrating, because I'm trying to please everybody, and ya just can't do that. At least I can't. Tim. Allen, Laugh Factory Magazine, 1994. Fame is a bright flower, but weeds abound mostly around it. Dash. Edward Council, Maxims. Greatness is a transitory experience. It is never consistent. It depends, in part upon the myth-making imagination of humankind. The person who experiences greatness must have a feeling for the myth he is in. He must reflect what is projected upon him. Frank Herbert. Dune. The more well-known you are, you become a target. Calvin Klein. Larry King Live. June 5th. 2000. If fame goes by, so long, I've had you, fame. If it goes by, I've always known it was. Fickle. So at least it's something I experienced, but that's not where I live. Marilyn Monroe. Interview with Richard Mariman, Life Magazine, August 3, 1962. Of present fame think little, and of future less. The praises that we receive after we are buried, like the posies that are strewn over our graves, may be gratifying to the living, but they are nothing to the dead, the dead are gone, either to a place where they hear them not, or where, if they do, they will despise them. Charles. Caleb Colton, Lacan. Happy is the man who hath never known what it is to taste of fame, to have. It is a purgatory, to one it is a hell. Edward Bulwer Lytton, Last of the Barons. Notoriety. Wasn't as good as fame, but was heaps better than obscurity. Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, good. Omens. Fame. A few words upon a tombstone, and the truth of those not to be depended on. Christian. Nestel Bovey, Intuitions and Summaries of Thought. Ah, fortune and fame shall follow me, and I shall dwell in the world of the chosen for a few moments of fleeting ecstasy, ere the seven burly lads turn into creditors and hustle me off to debtor's prison at last. Hunter S. Thompson, The Proud Highway. When you're famous you kind of run into human nature in a raw kind of way. It stirs 
up envy, fame does. People you run into feel that, well, who does she think she is, Marilyn Monroe? They feel fame gives them some kind of privilege to walk up to you and say anything to you, of any kind of nature, and it won't hurt your feelings, like it's happening to your clothes not you. Marilyn Monroe, attributed, Marilyn Monroe, a life of the actress, Rawlison. There have been as great souls unknown to fame as any of the most famous. Benjamin Franklin, poor chapter. 3. General fame and fortune affirmations. You are able to affirm yourself into having great fame and fortune. Let's look at a few affirmations. Affirmations. All my prospects bring me abundant. Good fortune. Amazing coincidences come into my life on a regular basis. At every turn, opportunity appears before me. Endless opportunities appear in my life. Every day brings me endless good. Fortune. Every day I am surrounded by an abundance of opportunities. Every day I attract lucky happenstances into my life. Every day I celebrate my continued good fortune. Every day in every way. I am attracting more and more good luck into my life. Everything I do brings me great success. Everything I touch brings me further good fortune. Everything is going my way. Fantastic. New opportunities come into my life every day. Fantastic opportunities greet me at every turn. Good. Fortune is one of the top priorities in my life, and I practice this feeling every day. Good luck comes to me effortlessly. Good luck flows into my life every day. Good news visits me regularly. Good things keep on happening to me. Great things keep blessing my life. I affirm. Abundant good luck throughout my day. I always get what I wish for. I always land on my feet. I always seem to be in the right place at the right time. I am a luck magnet. I am a magnet for good luck. I am a powerful luck magnet. I am a vacuum for lucky happenstances. I am always up on my luck. I am always in the right place at the right time with the right frame of mind. I am always in the right place at the right time. I am always prepared. That is why I am so lucky. I am constantly drawing good luck towards me. I am good fortune made flesh. I am good luck personified. I am incredibly lucky. I am lucky in everything I do. I am my own good luck charm. I am the luckiest man, woman in the world. I am the luckiest person alive. I am the world's greatest good luck charm. I attract good luck into my life by imagining the very best at all times. I continuously embed powerful good luck messages into my mind. I create my own luck as I go along. I create my own luck every day. I draw lucky opportunities towards me. I expect good fortune every moment of my life. I expect good luck at all times. I expect great things to happen every day of my life. I expect the best and I always get it. I expect to be lucky every day. I feel like the luckiest person alive. I feel really lucky today. I feel the powerful presence of good luck every day. I focus all my attention on the good fortune I desire. I focus all my thoughts on good luck. And good luck comes into my life. I focus on being lucky at every opportunity. I have a good luck. Charm that never fails me. Lady luck is on my side. Lady luck loves me today. Miracles bless my life every day. My good fortune increases every day. My good luck charm works for me because I believe in it. My good luck is solely a product of my positive thoughts and actions. My life is constantly attracting good fortune. My positive mindset ensures that I am always lucky I have abundant good luck in all my endeavors. I have created a lucky mindset. I have empowered my being with infinite good fortune. I have the perfect good luck charm. It's called belief. I have trained my mind to create good luck every day. I live a charmed life. I make my own luck by thinking good fortune at all times. I make my own luck by expecting it every day. I naturally attract good fortune into my life.
I practice the feeling of good fortune at every opportunity. I see endless opportunities before me. I spread good fortune wherever I go. I totally believe in luck. That is why it works for me. I was born under a lucky star. I welcome endless good fortune into my life. I welcome serendipity in my life. Windfalls come my way regularly. With every breath I take, I am bringing more and more luck into my life. It's okay for me to have everything I want. Every day I grow more financially prosperous I always have enough to pay bills and have money. Leftover abundance flows to me easily and effortlessly I'm lucky in life. It is my greatest desire to live each and every day with unlimited good fortune. Lady Luck follows me wherever I go. Lady Luck is my constant companion. My run of good luck is endless. My whole life is one lucky streak. My world is filled with abundant good luck. Serendipity is my constant companion. Today I bless my being with limitless good fortune. Today I welcome abundant good luck into my life. Whomever I meet, good fortune is bestowed upon them. My business attracts satisfied customers who keep returning from this moment on. I enjoy everything I do. I am well respected. My potential is unlimited and it shows I am the go-to person to get things done, right? I am even tempered and well-balanced terrific opportunities come to me every day. The more I accept good luck, the more of it I experience. The smarter I work, the luckier I am. Things are going my way. Things have a marvelous way of always working out for me. Things have an amazing way of always working in my favor. Chapter 4. Quotes on Fortune. For good fortune you must have skills in particular areas. Let's look at quotes that are inspiring for some of these particular areas. Things that can inspire you. Chiefly the mold of a man's fortune is in his own hands. Francis Bacon. Essays. The day of fortune is like a harvest day, we must be busy when the corn is ripe. Goethe. Torquato Tasso. I've seen the smiling of fortune beguiling, I've felt all its favors and found its decay. Alison Cockburn, The Flowers of the Forest. Bear the greatest fortune as if thou deserved it not. Edward Council, Maxims. Fortune favors the brave. Terence, Formio. Who lets slip fortune, her shall never find. Occasion once passed by, is bald behind. Abraham Cowley. Pyramus and Thisbe. There is frequently a poison in fortune's gifts. Edward Council, Maxims. The loss of fortune to a true man is but the trumpet challenge to renewed exertion, not the thunder. Stroke of destruction. E. H. Chapin, Living Words. Fortune rarely accompanies anyone to the door. Goethe, Torquato Tasso. He that hath wife and children hath given hostages to fortune, for they are impediments to great enterprises, either of virtue or mischief. Francis Bacon. Essays. Fortune sometimes knocks like a schoolmistress, but then she teaches when she does. Edward. Council, Maxims. Fortune may raise up or abuse the ordinary mortal, but the sage and the soldier should have minds beyond her control. Sir Walter Scott, Tale of the Crusaders. Those who have been indulged by fortune and have always thought of calamity as what happens to others, feel a blind, incredulous rage at the reversal of their lot, and half believe that their wild cries will alter. The Course of the Storm. George Eliot, Daniel Deronda. We make a goddess of fortune, and place her in the highest heaven. But it is not fortune that is exalted and powerful, but we ourselves that are abject and weak. Charles Caleb Colton, Lacken. There is in the worst of fortune the best of chances for a happy change. Euripides, Iphigenia in Tories. Fortunes are wrung from the smallest of things, that once were ignored, turning men into kings. Edwin Leibfreed, and Quat. The. Ragman and Quat. We may lack riches, but the greatest fortune is what lies in our hearts. Dean. 
Kuntz, Odd Thomas. Only he has a right to complain of undeserved misfortune, that is unwilling to accept undeserved good fortune. Ivan Panin, Thoughts. It is vain to complain of fortune while we fail in policy and conduct. Norman MacDonald, Maxims and Moral Reflections. They say fortune is a woman and capricious, but sometimes she is a good woman, and gives to those who merit. George. Eliot, Middlemarch. How much in this world is charged to chance or fortune, or veiled under a more devout name, and accorded to providence? While, when we come to look honestly into affairs, we find it to be a debt of our own accumulation, and one which we must inevitably pay. E. H. Chapin, Living. Words. Fortune has been considered the guardian divinity of fools, and, on this score, she has been accused of blindness, but it should rather be adduced as a proof of her sagacity, when she helps those who cannot help themselves. Charles Caleb Colton, Lacken. I must claim fortune as a perverse hag until she kisses me upon the lips. Abraham Miller, Unmoral Maxims. The wheel of fortune, like that of a ship, is full of spokes, and sometimes flies so sharply round as to crush those who have become puffed up with her favors, so that they burst at the first tap, whilst such as are nourished, instead of bloated, by the stream of prosperity, escape by slipping between the spokes until the pressure has passed, their moderation providing their safeguard. Charles William Day, The Maxims, Experiences, and Observations of Agogos. Raillery against fortune is the common eloquence of disappointment and misguided ambition. Norman MacDonald, Maxims and Moral. Reflections. When fortune comes sees her in front firmly, because behind she is bald. Leonardo da Vinci, Thoughts on Art and Life. Fortune's favors are too often like thunderbolts, which kill. Edward Council, Maxims. A good fortune may forebode a bad luck, which may in turn disguise a good. Fortune. Chinese proverb. Fortune makes many loans, but gives no presents. P-U-B-L-I-L-I-U-S Cyrus, the moral sayings of Publilius Cyrus. He deserves to be fortune's favorite who can use her gifts with an even hand. Edward Council, Maxims. We should enjoy good fortune while we have it, like the fruits of autumn. Epictetus, Fragments. He is truly a happy man who can, upon all occasions, reconcile himself to his fortune. Norman MacDonald, Maxims and Moral Reflections. Fortune may flatter us, but she herself is not to be flattered. Edward Council, Maxims. By working one can bend fortune. She is fond of crafty men. U.S.T.A.V.E. Flaubert, Salambo. Fortune hath many. Rhodes. Edward Council, Maxims. Chapter 5. Conclusion. Favorable affirmations are free, easy and exceedingly effective. What have you got to lose? Each thought we think is producing our future, so utilize affirmations to make your thoughts happy, joyous and positive. Utilizing affirmations is so simple, however there are particular rules you ought to follow to make your affirmations ultra effective. Make certain your affirmation is positive and in the here and now, I'm extremely wealthy and famous, not all be wealthy and famous. Only work with one or two affirmations at a time. To let your brain absorb the message. Write up the affirmation 20 times in the morning and at night. State your affirmation aloud to yourself in the mirror. If you're having a negative thought, say your affirmation to yourself. Keep your affirmations brief in particular. Sing them aloud, in the automobile, in the shower, in the bathtub. State them with emotion and passion, and a big grin on your face. Don't throw in the towel. To successfully reprogram your subconscious. Mind you have to repeat your affirmations each day, ideally morning, noon and night. As a lot of individuals have observed, and quat, success leaves clues, and quat, if you wish to accomplish 
extraordinary success in your life, study the experts, accomplish what they accomplish, and modify their strategies to suit your certain situation. There are basic principles in the belief that we all have to be reminded of them on a regular basis. Here are a few of the secrets that have helped me over the years. Center on values. I've known individuals who made some cash and gotten fame. But I've never known anybody who got rich and famous without analyzing their own values, priorities, and notions. Begin by putting down a list of things you value, things you trust, what you wish, and what you plan to do with this unbelievable life you have. Begin with your values. Have a life. Before you are able to handle great wealth and fame, you have to make room for it. This is the old. End quote. If you build it, they will come and quat, way of thinking. Attempting to squeeze success, wealth, fame or fortune into a little life won't work out. Make a life first, the lifestyle of your dreams will come after. Do away with clutter. Attempting to create success and accomplish wealth while your life is a wreck won't work. Success calls for clear-cut priorities and a passionate committedness. Simplify your life. Do away with the excuses. Clean up everything that distracts you from accomplishing your most crucial goals. Nail down your results. Nobody will hit a target they can't see. Specify your outcomes and set clear-cut, accomplishable results beforehand. Understand what and what success and quat looks like. Have measurable, particular outcomes and determine that you'll achieve them. Set your ships on fire. There's an ancient story about a Greek general who set ashore on an enemy beach, then set his ships on fire. He wanted to make it really clear, withdraw and failure weren't an option. Leave no room for being an unsuccessful person. Put in more than you extract. No one will pay you more than your services are worth. Even if you are famous get clear about this. You just can't fool individuals very long. Your services and your results have to be far more useful than the fee you charge. Some individuals will rip you off. The rest will make you wealthy. Live below what you can truly afford. Rich individuals understand this. Wealth is amassed, reinvested, utilized wisely and given away. It's never squandered. If you want to achieve great wealth, live simply, invest wisely, enjoy it all. Get rich slowly. The key to excellent wealth is to minimize income while maximizing your assets. Revenue is taxed. Revenue gets spent. Consider all the cars, boats, diamonds and houses individuals with huge incomes like to purchase. Investing in assets that are difficult to spend, buildings, stocks and bonds, collectible art, and so forth, produces wealth that is not taxed, and isn't spent on a chance impulse. Give some away. You can't take it with you when you pass away, and cash isn't attracted to the selfish, the miserly, or the mean. If you'd attract cash to your life, be clear about what you wish to do with it. Contribute to charities that will utilize it for good. Make the world a better, more plentiful place and you'll produce wealth that will last for generations to come. Your youngsters will thank you. Learn more at uni24x7.com kokoshungsan pays you to have fun. Kakashungsan.net